Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another edition of Smart Chat. And um, do you smell it? Do you smell it? I know uh, I do. And it's hockey. I can't literally smell hockey. But hockey is in the air. Opening day today. Weather is cooler outside. Hockey is back. And I wanted to do a video kind of my thoughts about some of the teams, not all of them, but some of them uh, coming into uh, this. Let's just give a few sentences on as many teams as I can, and obviously I welcome your thoughts, your opinions, your question down below. Check out my other channel, the, uh, the Tom Brand One. First, you look at the Bruins. Um, I think they're the obvious favorite in the Eastern Conference, uh, even though I'm a New York Ranger fan. Uh, but they're a very strong team. Uh, they finished last season. Um, they finished last season. You get the the sense that you know they had a lot of versatility. Uh, they can batter and punish teams on the forecheck, but they I think also can exploit. Uh, opponents on the rush. They also have a, you know, excellent forward group, a very good defensive group, and goalie Rask is the reigning Vezina Trophy winner. Very strong team. Uh, the Bruins defense can uh, choke out a team's, you know, they can choke out a team systematically, and their offense can dissect an opponent uh, with precision. The defensive group that I mentioned, you have equally, you know, daunting group. It's just like the offensive. Zdeno Chara, definitely a future Hall of Famer. Dougie Hamilton, future number one defenseman, who's probably poised for a big year. Johnny Boychek, Possesses, you know, heavy shots, keeps it simple. Tory Krug, dynamic, puck moving uh, defenseman. I think the team is built built to win the cup, and uh, they're pretty much, uh, I think, heavy favorites. You also have the New York Rangers. New York Rangers, um, despite losing Pouye, Strowman, Brad Richards. They're still on the top there of the Eastern Conference. How is that possible? Um, simple. They are a very good skating team that exhibits very impressive, I think, puck movement. Even without Richards, they have great passers and uh, Bouchard, Zuccarello, Stefan, Martin San Luis. Losing Strowman was huge, um, definitely huge, but in the same regard, St. Louis, uh, but in the same regards, rather, you know, they have an elite guard, uh, goaltender. Maybe I should write notes next time because I'm just all over the place. They have an elite goaltender, Henrik Lundqvist. Even though they lost um, Strowman, you got to give it up to a goaltender who blocks a lot of shots, stop goals from happening on goals that should be goals, if that makes sense to you guys. Say it does, because I don't know if I'm making sense to myself. Tampa Bay. Um, you got to say that Tampa Bay certainly did not sit back during the offseason. After their first round exit uh, with Montreal, uh, Steve Eisenman, um, I think he could have said that the loss was attributed to the absence of, you know, their goaltender, Ben Bishop. But Tampa Bay's um, defensive group transforming into turnstiles, quite honestly, simply uh, call, caught Eisenman's. I and what did he do? Uh, he acquired Strowman 
and Jason Garrett, uh, Jason Garrison, uh, to help remedy the blue line. You also have with the uh, Tampa Bay Lightning. You also have Victor Hedman, one of last season's uh, best defensemen. Hedman uh, drives possession, eats minutes, can shoot, pass like a top grade defender, and uh, he's very good. Uh, defensively. You also have Stomko, Sturin. Let's not forget about them. Uh, another team here, Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh, Pittsburgh, Pittsburgh. Sidney Crosby, one of the best, best players, if not the best player in the game. And Jenny Malkin. They really need to stay healthy and be the usual uh, peerless selves. Uh, passing, skating, shooting on a different plane, different level than everyone else. Brandon Sutter, um, I think, needs to build off a very good postseason. And Pascal Duquise uh, has to look healthy and potent in, uh, in his return from injury, which will be uh, key. Nick Spalling, Steve Downey, Blake Kamal, uh, they all, you know, need to be effective bottom line uh, forwards. Those are some of the keys, I think, for, uh, for Pittsburgh, just my uh, analysis of them. Uh, Detroit, um, Daxel, Zet. Zetterberg, Nicholas, Cornwall, uh, they all be healthy to start the season, uh, which I think will make for a good start, but they have advancing age. Cornwall is the youngest of the, uh, the guys who's, you know, 34, turning 34 in January, Well, Z Zetterberg, 33, is, uh, you know, turning 34 in uh, October. Make no mistake about it, too. Uh, you do have a great 24-year-old there, which will be key um, for the Red Wings. Nyquist, 24-year-old. Puck skills, great. Good instincts in puck support. And he has power for his size. You also have, let's not forget about Tadar, Jerko, Shannon, Gleendenberg. All could be NHL regulars. Let's look at Columbus, um, the Blue Jackets. Ryan Johansson uh, signs a bridge, co bridge contract. Ryan Murphy turns out to be a uh, you know, young hybrid of Duncan Keefe and Ryan McDonough. Brandon Dubinsky and Horton, they stay healthy, healthy. Um, those will be key for them to be healthy. You have James Wisniewski, he had a great year from 2013-2014, um, interesting um, if he could continue to do the same. Jack Johansson figures out a way to improve his possession numbers even slightly as uh, he becomes more veteran savvy, so to speak. Look out for those players. Now, Montreal. Uh, I think Montreal's perfect season will require a few crucial things. Uh, you have the goalie. Uh, you know he was second best in the NHL goals for 60 minutes. Don't need that necessarily to be repeated, but this highly skilled forward, blessed with size, speed, and awareness, he has a um, he has a sixth sense of uh, sniffing out breakaway opportunities that is literally incredible. We need to top, I think, 
need to notch at least 30 goals again, preferably, you know, maybe even more. And why did I say goalie? It's the forward. Uh, Max is his name. Uh, Petrotti, I believe, is his name. His name, uh, his name skips me. But I know that's one of the best players there. He had a 30 goal season last year. I think he needs to repeat the same for Montreal to be really competitive. Uh, Philadelphia, the Flyers. I think the hopes for a playoff trip rest on Claude, Sean Cotier, Brandon Sheehan, Wayne Simmons, um, you know, providing strength enough, 200 foot, you know, impact play at even strength, and enough fire power on the on the power play to lift the, to lift the team above mediocrity. Uh, the defense is a mess, um, and I think they might be even worse than last year. So with Philly, if you could make, all, make out my uh, rambling, Claude, Vorchek, Couchier, Shen, Wayne Simmons all need to play at high impact. Last team that I want to touch on, um, you know, as far as the East goes, uh, would be, um, I think the team that's worth mentioning here is the, um, let's see, who can we go with? What team can we go with? Hmm. Islanders they made a lot of moves. They were playing playing in Brooklyn next year. The moves that they made on defense, offense, could it be enough? A lot of people are saying that the uh, Islanders are up there. Um, I don't know. Will be interesting to see. Hope you were able to make sense of some of my babble here. Just some of my thoughts about the East with the NHL. You know, things to look for. You know, let me know your thoughts. Until next time, adios, over and out.